it is so there and we're back with another part of puzzle agent where we're just gonna keep on oh god back okay so now we gotta talk to some crazy people hello well hello there mister welcome to valda's inn valda's inn Garrett, but everyone calls me ma how can i help you hey ma i'm nelson tethers i have a reservation oh yeah you're here about the eraser factory eh they must They're be in Canada. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> in our town. Are you? Just like TV, yeah? Ooh, I'm gonna make some hot dish for you later. Uh, Ooh, hot dish. hot dish. You'll love it. I've never met a man who didn't love himself some hot dish. What's a hot dish? Soup? Soup? Room key. Uh, what room am I in? Yeah, okay. I've got your room right here. Ah! Damn, this is so embarrassing. Is it? The is it? The clerk wrote down your room number in code. In code? Mind if I have a look? I bet I can figure out what... Oh, no. The security-minded night clerk noted Nelson's room number in cryptic form. Help Martha see what's written so you can get your keys. Solve it. Guest. Nelson. Room. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. squiggle. Room key confusion. This is weird. What? Is it like... Could it be like this way? But the number doesn't look like that. Boom. One. Boom. What? I don't understand. Okay, so it's two numbers. We know that much. Okay, it's got to be two numbers. This plus this equals... Two and two. Could it be a two, guys? Like... Seven, eight. It could be the eights. So it could be like here and here. I don't think it's a four. Five, six, one. But it can't be three letters. So it's got to be something. Oh my goodness, guys, if only you could see me sitting here tilting my head every which way, trying to stare at this. It's probably really obvious to you. Guest. Nelson. Room. I want to say 22. Room 22? Yeah? Yeah, of course not. Of course it's not. Sorry, wrong number. Look a little harder. Okay, we'll retry. Let's go. Uh, hint. Yep. Numerals are great, but there are other common ways of writing down numbers. Numerals are great, but there are other common ways of writing down numbers. I am done. What's other common ways of writing down numbers? Roman numerals? H H H I H. What are other ways of writing down numbers? Roman numerals, tally systems. Um, I don't know. Um, it's not twenty two. Okay, well, if it was 
11? I, I? Is that 11? <laughs> what is even happening? Oh, God. Costing all the taxpayer dollars. <laughs> okay. Uh, hint. Other common ways of writing. Yes, more. If the marks themselves don't mean anything to you, try looking at the spaces between the marks. That's what we're doing. Like... Okay, the spaces between the marks. Oh my goodness, guys. Here's the first part of the answer. Can you fill in the rest? Z. N. Oh! <laughs> Got it. Maybe. Maybe. Yay! <laughs> wow, guys. Wow. It wasn't an equals. We used all the gum. All the gum must be used. We're borderline. Ouch. Oh, yeah, now I see. Okay, then. Here's your room key, FBI man. Thank you. Thanks. Actually, while I have, have you here, here? Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Real quick, I promise. Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, well, guys, we're stuck in this game. Getting around. How do I get to the factory from here? The FBI doesn't know where the factory is? Oh, dear. Our moose is cooked. Rest assured, ma'am, the FBI just likes to confirm intelligence with civilian knowledge of, we like to double check things. Oh, of oh. course. <laughs> I have a tourist map of our little town of Scoggins right here. Yeah. Tourist map achieved. No, our Scoggins erasers is the plant that supplies the White House with all of its erasers. The president could be fixing a mistake with a Scoggins eraser right now. Nice. Yes, That's why I'm here. That and the fact that every time the Bureau made an inquiry into the situation, all we ever got back uh -huh. were bizarre uh -huh. puzzles. Oh yeah, well, that'll happen. Scoggins Do you know the problem at the factory? Yeah, so tragic about the accident. Accident? Oh. Accident. Oh yeah, the foreman, Isaac Davner, they say he was killed in there. Oh. That's so. Well, not to be gossipy, but I heard the accident was caused by raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, little creatures that live in the woods around the factory. Oh. Maybe you should go talk to Sheriff Bog about it, though. Sheriff Bog. You should be able to catch him out by the factory right now. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. But I'm not done talking to you. The guy in the lobby, is he okay? Is he okay? Oh, Murphy. He's always been a bit of an odd one. Oh, really? He sits there all day trying to do his puzzles. He mostly keeps to himself, and I bring him some food from time to time. Sometimes I swear he'd Aww. starve to death if I didn't bring him something to eat. Goodbye. Thanks. Well, goodbye. Enjoy your stay. Oh, that reminds me. Do you have any gum for sale? Or know where I can buy some? Dear, we've been out of gum for quite some time. What? Haven't seen a stick in really? anywhere in town. We tend to get shipments of things like that in the spring. So, no gum? No gum. Gum helps me concentrate. Pick up the ABC gum. Do it. Do it, Nelson. Yeah. When he's chewing gum, any kind of gum, find discarded gum and use it to get a hint during a sticky puzzle. Should we talk to this Excuse guy? Excuse me, you look perplexed. This is so many, many puzzles. Puzzles? I might I'll be able, able to help, help you with that. that. I don't know about this. Now, mm. Bo has swallowed a rubber band again. His x-ray shows only tapeworms, or does it? 
Rotate segments of the pesky parasites to reveal the hidden object. Uh... Okay. Well, I feel like this can't lead to nothing. Oh. Hmm. Does it have to make like complete pictures? We're going off into nowhere. This one can't be right. Okay, he's got a little tail now. But this isn't right. Two heads. Oh, this almost looks like a rubber band. Except for the worm in the middle. Is this it? I... Does it have a worm head? This is the only part that worries me. Now this one's got two heads on this worm. Try it? <laughs> this could be wrong, guys. Not gonna lie. Oh, it works! <laughs> Wait, <clears throat> of course it worked! Yay, we're top agent again! Solved. Now maybe you can relax a little. With the whispers, if it's an acrostical enigma, maybe it's a Baltimore trans deletion. The whispers. Or not. <laughs> oh dear. Um. Go out this door? Gum! Puzzle! A screwdriver. Someone left a screwdriver in the alley beside the hotel. Looks clean. Probably of no consequence. Probably. A puzzle! Hmm. Winner undeclared in local contest. The Annabelle Grill Ladies Arm Wrestling Tournament is over and the judge missed it. Read the four statements and help him determine the winner. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me. Hat won fair and square. Outmatched by Grizzly Grip. I pin Pearl like a new hat. Hat won fair and square. How do we know who they are? Do their clothes have like a hint about who they are? Flo's Grizzly Grip couldn't whip me. At one, fair and square. Because she was outmatched by the grizzly grip. Outmatched by the grizzly grip. And Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me. So these two are like, fine. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. I wonder if this is Pearl. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. And then, this person? Flo's grizzly grip couldn't whip me, outmatched by the grizzly grip. I pinned Pearl like a new hat. I'm gonna guess this person. I don't know. There's only four of them. Yay! Nice! Arm wrestling redux. Good job! Nailed it! Nailed it! We did it! I'm a genius! Okay, I'm not, but... That was a tricky one. No, it wasn't.
Go back inside. Gum! Yeah! We like that. Should we talk Got to any him? more puzzles you need help with? Puzzles! puzzles. No new puzzles yet. Thinking, thinking about puzzles. I'll just check in on you later. <laughs> I'll check back with you. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll keep in touch. The residents of Skagen seem nice enough. Do they? From one wild goose chase, everyone's been cooperative. Plus, it looks like I'm primed for all the hot dish I can eat. It remains to be seen. Oh. Of course it's a good thing. I got a map from the hotel owner, so I'm heading over to the eraser factory. Are we? Agent Tethers out. Agent Tethers out. Hey, it's your recording, dude. Whatever makes you happy. Snowmobile. Snowmobile. Select the factory. That was easy. Look at me, doing all those things. No trespassing. Are we trespassing? We're the FBI. We can go wherever the heck we want. Uh, gum! Gum! Uh, let's talk to this dude. Hi, Sheriff Bob. Yeah, I'm uh, Nelson Tethers, uh -huh, uh -huh. the FBI's Department of Puzzle. Nelson Tethers, good to meet you. We got a real you interrupted me. Yes, we do. We do? Oh, yes. It's going to be a while before we can get this factory running again. Uh-oh. My job is to get this factory back to making erasers. Agent Tethers, you're in our right pickle. pickle. <laughs> I should probably ask you some questions about the incident, then. That's what I'd do if I was a big, important FBI boy. Oh my god, you're so mean. Incident. What was this incident? Well, we don't need to be dramatic. What happened? There was an explosion. Oh! Oh, oh yeah, a big explosion. The former uh -huh. just uh -huh. came home. Really? Time of when the accident. When did the accident take place? Well, I've been trying to figure that out myself. Oh. Here's what I know. The Rest Easy Guard Service was employed to keep watch over the factory from midnight to midnight yesterday. From their statements, can you determine the time of the big noise? Solve it. Bernie. Boom! One hour before the last shift started. I got the shortest shift, three hours. Only Bernie put in a full eight hours. Worked from six till I was relieved. Huh. So, this person started work at six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Only Birdie put in a full eight hours. This person started work at six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I got, I get the shortest shift, three hours. Only Bernie put in the full eight hours. Work from six till I was relieved. Boom, one hour before the last shift started. <laughs> Arg. Sorry about the bang, guys. I bumped my foot. Ouch. Um, so did they work till six? And then worked from six till I was relieved. Worked from six till I was relieved. Pop gets the shortest shift, three hours. Only Bernie puts in eight hours. The shortest shift is three hours. Hmm. Anyway, guys, 
because that is all the time we have. Um, I'll come back to this one. Yeah, it's we'll come back to that one. It's a tough nut. Anyway, guys, that's all the time we have. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this part of Puzzle Quest. Um, please give it a great big thumbs up. Comments go down below. Or you can give me a shout out on Twitter at DangerMasseuse. Make sure to subscribe and be notified when I make new content. In the meantime, guys, I love you all. Please take care, stay happy, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.